Okay, today we're out here with this Sharps rifle. It's a Petasoli actually. Um, and what we're doing is, because we get lots of comments on it, is doing the bucket shot. The bucket shot from the Quigley movie. I've got it over there in the sheep paddock. You can hear the sheep they've moved in. We've had to stop shooting because they've moved in. But we've got a bucket over there, which is the real bucket. Um, and I suppose first thing I'd have to qualify is the shot in the Quigley movie was Hollywood. Never actually happened. Sorry if that burst some bubbles, but all the details, bits and pieces could go into lots of stuff about that type of thing as to, of course, that wasn't actually a shot. But we wanted to do this shot anyway. So I've got an old steel bucket out there. I've got this rifle, which is a Pedasoli. It's the Quigley model. No, it's not the Quigley rifle. I didn't go and get it from Tom Selleck. This is a Quigley model rifle. I mean, it's set up basically the same. So this is in 4570, and I'll show you the rounds. I actually had 15 set up on the belt. I ended up using 10, and I'll go through the little story in a minute. But there they are. That has got a, it's a coated, it's not paper patched. This is powder coated when the modern world 4570. It's not the 45120, which is the Sharps cartridge, or the 45110, which I think was the movie cartridge, but it's running in the same sort of power. The modern smokeless powder I got in here ends up pushing the bullet at about the same sort of speed, same weight bullet, so it's a very similar shot with a very similar recoil and all those sorts of things. Probably a little less nice than this because it's smokeless, but anyway. That's it, it's got this, which is called a Creebore or a Tang sight down the back here. Um, and it's a 34 inch barrel and all the bits and pieces of what the rifle's supposed to be. With the set trigger and things down the bottom here, so you gotta pull one back to pull the other one to pull the trigger, that sort of stuff, all those bits and pieces. Now, the shot, what we actually went through, trying to see a bucket, and I'll have to put the, side, the distance on here, we're roughly 450 yards. Now the story in the movie, some people think it was a thousand, some people think it was 600, 700, 400, 300, 250. The, the footage where everyone could see it was more like about 200 yards in the movie. We've set up to where I could still see the bucket. Pretty hard to see a little dark bucket, it's not a shiny white sign and a 24 inch tug that I normally shoot at, and trying to see it through sights, which is another bit of the story. I ended up doing the shot by using the normal sight up the front here. And that's because to see the target through a peep sight, which is on one of these things, which is extremely good for accurate on good light with good sized targets, was just too hard to keep focus on that little bucket out there. So I did some shots like that. I did about five shots messing around, trying to work things out. Wasn't working with this. So I wound this peep sight, which for those that don't know, you can wind that piece up and down, left and right, to get it exactly on target. Very accurate way to shoot, but the amount of light I had to try and shoot at this distance, bigger target, easy. I've shot out to a mile on a white target. Oh, bottom right corner, just off. Bucket, shadow, little thing, very difficult, even at this, which is, like I said, roughly 450 yards. So one bucket left, one bucket tall. Okay. Well, that's better to use that side. Okay, cool. Much more appropriate for this distance for me. Yep. Mm -hmm. Oh, just left. A really good height. One and a half buckets left. We get close. That was just off, <laughs> bottom left corner. No, oh, that's not bad for three. Yeah. Okay.
You got it. You got the bucket. Yeah. Awesome. Yeah. Okay, awesome. How's there an end? It's hard to sight. Really hard to sight. Yeah. Yeah. Even using that sight there, it's hard to sight. Awesome. That's not bad. That's great. Let's see if we can just follow that up and get similar. It's heavy, isn't it? Sorry? It's heavy. It is heavy. Um, and it's hard on the eyes. Yeah. It really is. No scope. Well, I wouldn't have been surprised that went through, but I didn't hear it. <laughs> that, that was just over top, just over top. Okay. One more, we'll go and see what we did, eh? Okay, mate. Go and see the hole in the bucket. All right. Just to the right. That was really close. Just to the right. Good height. Like half a bucket right. Okay. Well, that's some that real close good. ones. <laughs> okay. Let's go and see what we actually did. All right. That's how I did it. And then I'm on once, maybe twice. I think it was once. Got, got on there and then hit it once and then one just over the top as I think is the closest we got But we should have, we'll go and see just now, a hole in the bucket at 450 yards with the Sharps Quigley Rifle, um, just like the movie. So anyway guys, we'll go out to Bucket now and we'll have a look. 